as the threat of cybercrime continues to rise, charities are increasingly at risk of attack. Criminals tend to target charities because they often have limited IT budgets and little or no in-house cybersecurity expertise, as well as weaker attack surfaces. Last year, the Red Cross was hit with a devastating attack that put a halt to operations and fundraising, illustrating just how far-reaching these attacks can be. In response to these threats, the NCSC recently introduced new guidance for the charity sector calling for improved cybersecurity practices. In this video, we explore why charities are a soft target and look into the solutions they can use to protect themselves from cyber attacks. We start by examining the risks that charities face. Many rely heavily on BioD or bring your own device, meaning their networks are often much larger and harder to police. Many charities also lack the resources to address cybersecurity risks, as well as board members who are accountable for cybersecurity. This presents a huge security risk, as was seen with the SAMH hack last year, which resulted in the data of donors and volunteers being leaked. Fortunately, there are steps charities can take to mitigate cyber threats and safeguard their reputations. One of the most important is to hire a virtual CISO, an expert in security who will guide and direct the charity's cybersecurity strategy. Charities should also invest in MDR, a service that will constantly monitor their networks for anomalies and respond to threats in real time. Finally, it can be beneficial to use third-party services such as penetration testing to test defenses, as this can prevent more sophisticated malware and ransomware attacks. Ultimately, charities in the UK must take their cybersecurity seriously or risk suffering the devastating consequences of an attack. By investing in the right services and strategies, they can combat cybercrime and maintain a secure and reliable organization.